Hi everyone, we're lucky to get a sample of the 9700s. Um, there's been a huge amount of interest on the web about this new radio, which we hope to see very, very soon in the UK. Uh, with me, I've got Bob Rogers, who works in our engineering department. And what we decided to do is a couple of videos uh, giving a basic introduction to uh, this new SDR radio. Uh, which joins the semi 300, the 7610, as well as the R8600 receiver. So, Bob, what do you think of these? Well, this is the new generation. Fantastic performance, very good ergonomics, excellent user interface. But the performance of the 9700 is really taking everybody by surprise. It really does look very similar to the 7300. Um, the layout looks intuitive like the 7300 um, and it it's almost identical it matches it does make a very good lineup doesn't it um, it's a little bit more complicated slightly more complicated I should say than the, than the 7300 in that it's got three different bands within the set and so you've got controls on the front to control two bands simultaneously um, whereas the 7300 is just a, a single band transceiver what I'm seeing is a, a complete radio shack right in front of us. That's what you're looking at. Yeah, you've got the capability of everything from 160 right up to um, 1296 in those two radios. And um, the performance is absolutely excellent. So some of the feedback we've got from customers, from a lot of customers, is that the 7300 is really easy to use. This 9700 looks the same. Yeah, it's very, very similar. The user interface is almost identical. It's complicated only slightly more by the fact that you've got three switchable bands and you can use more than one at once. Can you explain a bit more? Yeah. We can change this to uh, 1296. And so you've got 1296 and um, 430 megs there at the same time. Anything you want to do with this, like the 7300, you touch the screen, anything you want to do with that, you just select that one and you're away just the same you can change that to two meters now you can have whatever band you want we've also got obviously the memory scope function just the same as the the 7300 it's got a memory scope just on one band at once simply because you can't get it all on the screen if you want it more than one so how does this compare with previous best sellers like the 910 and the 9100 well <clears throat> the performance level of this set is um, follows the kind of performance that we expect from 7300 and 7610s and SDRs. It's a it's remarkably good receiver. It's very, very sensitive. I've seen an MDS of sort of minus 146 on it. Well, minus 146 dBm, that is. And um, the strong signal handling is, is remarkable. I can listen to a signal at minus 140 dBm and two kilohertz away from it, I can put a, a carrier on there that's 60 dB louder. You just can't tell it's there. How does this lead on from the 7300? Right, well if we look at the menus first, in the main menu on both radios, you can see it's very very similar except for that little box there, which is the satellite tracking box. Um, the rest of it is the same as the 7300, scope, audio, voice, meter, memory, scan, memory pad, record and set. They're all the same on the first menu screen. So, if you've used the 7300 this should be intuitive? Oh yeah. I mean, as you know, the 7300 is quite famously the radio that you don't need an instruction manual for. Well, if you've learnt that, then you'll, you'll have that in five Well, that's minutes. brilliant news, that is. Yeah, it makes things simple. So, the only difference on, on, on the two, like I say, is the satellite one, that one. So, here we've got the, um, the satellite function. <clears throat> we've got normal and reverse tracking. So, as you tune up on one, the other one tunes down, or in normal, they both track up and down at the same time so that's uh, working through satellites so going back to the menu again on the second one now you see the uh, the full advantage of this set it's got uh, as you can see d-star and um, gps input if you want to transmit your position the set is, is more or less the same as the as the 7300 it's a you know a similar kind of thing that you used to just for setting it up the one One of the biggest requests when we do these short videos for customers is they want to see the back of the radio uh, to look at the inputs and outputs 
Bob, could you go through those for us, please? Sure. So we've got the, uh, the two metre port there. We've got the local area network port there because it's got a server inside it. 10 meg reference in, fan, accessory socket, 432 megs, 12 volts, 1296 megs. Down here we've got um, the data socket, we've got a USB, we've got the remote and key jacks, and then we've got two separate receiver outputs for each re its receiver. What we've shown you is a, a general overview of an engineering sample which has been supplied to us by Icom Incorporated. As a, a keen operator, what do you think about this, this new radio? Well, I think the 910 is the old king and um, this is the new king. We, we've put this at the side of a 910 and it's in a different league of performance. Um, Anybody that's really serious about VHF, UHF or, uh, or microwaves is going to want one of these things. It's, uh, it really is the top of the range. Well, thanks, Bob, for that. Um, we're hoping to have stocks of this new radio available for Morphrise dealers in the very near future.